I'm making Mediterranean chicken thighs with potatoes and peppers. And all I've done right now is really seared off the skin, made it nice and crispy. So I'm gonna get the chicken thighs out so I can really saute up all the veggies. Then they're gonna go back in and then everything's gonna go in the oven. I love a one pan meal. This is the best. So don't worry, these obviously have not been cooked all the way through. They are gonna go into an oven at 400 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes until they are done. It's popping me. I'm gonna turn that heat down. So I've got some onion that I've just sliced. I just want little half moons. And the same with the peppers. And we just want these to get translucent, get nice and tender. This is all gonna shrink down. These veggies have so much water in them that they all just shrink down. They're gonna cause this really beautiful, flavorful little broth. I'm gonna just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of chili flake. I'm slicing up the garlic now and I'm getting it nice and thin because I really want you to see and taste this garlic. A lot of times I like to um, grab, what do you call this thing? Greater zester, it does really good things with the garlic. <laughs> I get really loopy when I get up too early in the morning. Anyway, I don't want to grate the garlic. I really wanna see some beautiful flakes in there. And then if they caramelize, and get tender and roasty in the oven even better. So I'm just getting these into nice thin slivers. So we wanna get some oregano out and we got fresh thyme. And you can always see that this is thyme because they've got these really cute little leaves and they're very easy to pull off. You just go at the top of the stem and you can really just pull all of them off really easily. And then you get rid of the big woody stem that isn't tender. We're gonna chop those up. All right, these are nice and soft, so let's get the garlic in. And get the herbs. Give it a quick toss again. What we're doing here is we're just building flavor. Then it's all gonna roast together in the oven. Oh boy, as soon as those herbs and garlic hit the heat, it really starts to get a beautiful aroma going. Time for the potatoes to go in. Little baby gold potatoes. All right, now I'm gonna pop the tomatoes in. Oops, get back in there. Everybody plays in the pool. Okay, one more thing, and these are your artichokes. Now, if you do use frozen, make sure that you drain them and thaw them first. And if they're in the can, make sure they are drained. We don't need to add more liquid. There's plenty in there. And the tomatoes are gonna give us some more liquid as they pop. All right, these guys are looking great. And we really just wanna nestle these on top. We spent all that time getting a beautiful crust and crispy skin. We don't wanna waste that and we want that skin to crisp up even more in the oven. You could use chicken breasts in this dish. I prefer chicken thighs. They've got so much more flavor. You want bone in, skin on. That bone's gonna impart a lot of flavor too. And see that? That juice goes right into. That's flavor. Don't waste it. So this beautiful guy's gonna go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, and it smells even better. <gasps> The onions hit you right away with the peppers. Oh boy, does that look good. So there's a few more touches I want. Let's get some feta on there. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that viral recipe that was going around for a while online. The baked feta with tomatoes and olive oil. Maybe it's a little play on that. I want some parsley. I always like something fresh on top. There we go. Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. Just go in for a nice crisp, thigh right in the middle. Look. Ooh. Oh, the tenderness of those peppers. I love that. I remember we had potatoes. I forgot all about the potatoes. Get some of those in there. That's a gorgeous dish. Looks really full of flavor. Let's get the perfect bite. A little bit of chicken, some of the veggies, artichoke, pepper, tomato, feta. Let's see if I can fit all that in my mouth. Oh wow, mm. that's quite lovely.